Now, the next thing I want to say is that not only is the Bible the Word of God, but Jesus himself is the Word of God. This comes out in John's Gospel in two places. In John chapter 1, verse 1, familiar verse. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. That refers to Jesus. He was the Word, He is the Word. And in John 14, John 1, 14, it says, The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So when Jesus was born, the season that we commemorated Christmas, though that was not actually the season, the Word became flesh. But it, He was always the Word. Eternally, He was the Word with God. And when He comes back, you know how He's coming back? You know what His name will be? Let me tell you, Revelation chapter 19. This is really remarkable in the sense that when He first came, He was the Word. When He comes back, He will be the Word. This is a picture of Jesus coming out of heaven in glory to establish His kingdom on earth. Revelation 19, verse 11, 12, and 13. Then I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, diadems, royal crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. So he was, always was the Word, still is the Word, and will be the Word. And that brings out something very important. There is total agreement between Jesus and the Bible. Your attitude toward one is the attitude toward the other. You cannot believe in Jesus and disbelieve the Bible. Did you absorb that fact? Because Jesus is the Word of God. He's the Word made flesh. The Bible is the Word in Scripture, writing. Your attitude toward the one must be the same as your attitude toward the other. There is total agreement between the two.